Hello, I'm Epic X Toy Cat, and have you ever noticed how pretty much half of every Minecraft player's hotbar is taken up by tools? And this is from the start of the game all the way to the end, from the wooden pickaxe all the way to the Neverite sword. And I've always thought this is a bit unfair because all of these tools have pretty much no downside. Something I figured I would fix in today's video because I have removed all of the recipes for tools in Minecraft and replaced them with something a little bit more explosive. I think this should make them more balanced with a little bit more downside, and it should make beating Minecraft a lot more fun if it's even possible. But that's what we're going to be finding out in today's video, which you can subscribe by the way if you want to see more off every single day on your homepage. But let's get straight into it. Okay, so here I am in my brand new Minecraft world. It's looking pretty beautiful. And let's do the first thing everyone does in a brand new world and chop down a tree. Everyone loves this part of Minecraft so much. I mean, it's so fun. You stare at the wood, you punch the wood, and every 1.6 seconds, you get a brand new piece of wood. It's so fun. Then with that crafting table, we're gonna try and drag ourselves a little bit of a, maybe a shovel in there. Oh, we can't craft a shovel because it's TNT instead. What if we try for us a hoe? Oh, we can't craft a hoe either. Surely we can craft a wooden pickaxe though. No, as you can see, they all make TNT instead. And so we have to see how Minecraft is different if you have no tools and only explosives. And I'm afraid it's you, Cal, who's gonna benefit least from this. As soon as I can find fire, at least. I'm coming back for you. Actually, you know, I'm not gonna look a gift cow in the mouth. I'm just gonna, gonna take the free meat that he's offering me. And we're gonna come back for another cow. You get to die in an only slightly painful way, unlike your friends from later on in this video. But let's uh, get onto less sociopathic topics and let's work out how we're actually gonna beat Minecraft if we have literally just TNT as our weapon. There are no tools. Oh, actually, there's a jungle temple though. That's exciting. Not often you spawn next one of those. Oh, and you know why jungle temples are great? Because they give us an opportunity to get some redstone. Seriously, this is, whenever I do one of these weird challenges, something strange and rare happens, because TNT is both of those things. So let's, uh, oh, we can't even really use it inside here. We just have to take the redstone out, I guess. As well as the seven gold ingots, which will be oh so useful, I imagine, and some bamboo, which we'll take just in case. So now I have some tripwire hooks and some string, which I can of course use to my advantage to do something really stupid if I want to, and you better believe I do. We'll place a tripwire hook there, we'll place our string, and then we'll place another tripwire hook on the side of this block, and then we'll have a bunch of TNT next to it. And that way we can get past this wall without having to mine. Let's go. Look at this absolute geniusness. <laughs> See, you can tell you did a good job when you see light appear after the explosion. Wow. Oh, wow, yeah. And look at that. More gold. Even some pistons, should I want them. That's how you deal with jungle temples. So, yeah, more seriously, I think we are going to run into a whole ton of issues. And uh, let's kind of list them one by one. First of all, we can't really gather a lot of resources. For instance, I want to make myself a bucket, but I can't mine iron because I can't make a stone pickaxe because... Well, I mean, what happens if I try to do that is this. I grab myself my sticks, I grab myself my stone, and what do I get? I, I get TNT, which, you know, this is delightful, but I can't mine iron with TNT. Probably? Wait, that's a lie. I have an iron ore right here. You know what? Okay, new mining strategy. We just need to... We need, If we can smelt this up, then I can make a furnace, and I can make a flint and steel, and then I can activate all this TNT, and then I've got a way to get enough iron for a bucket. Okay, strategy found. <laughs> so I'm really enjoying this brand new mountain biome. They updated mountains in 1.17, as you can very clearly tell. Ah, I'm just kidding. Oh wait, I can do one better. I can actually light my TNT using the redstone torch because of that wonderful little jungle temple. Or we can go to that village over there. Or we can do both. You know what, let's, let's make some fireworks, shall we? So here is a lovely mountain biome. We activate using our redstone torch, then we grab the redstone torch and we run. And boom. Oh, isn't that beautiful? This is how Minecraft was meant to be played. So let's try that again, but with a slightly more fun chain reaction, shall we? We're gonna start inside here, and we're gonna see where it takes us, I guess. Oh, let's get out of that, let's get out of that. Oh, well that's, that's not how chain reactions are meant to work. Okay, as I was saying, let's try that one again. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, there we go. I, that, that's, that's not how any of that was meant to work. I didn't know you could place redstone torches on TNT and not detonate it, but you learn something new every day, I guess. So my mining strategy has been unsuccessful at gathering iron, 
But I've got on a ton of dirt, so I can use that to my advantage, I'm sure. So the good news is we now have a furnace. The bad news is we don't really have anything to cook besides some meat. And we don't even have much of that. You know, if only there was a way to get a ton of meat. Good news, I know there precisely is. Let's take some more sticks. Let's take some more cobblestone, make myself a hoe worth of TNT. I could even make myself some gold uh, stuff if I wanted to. And then let's use said TNT to cause a little bit of a mess. I have a complaint to make. Why is it that when a pig dies to TNT, you get raw pork chops? I'm just saying they should be cooked, right? I mean, what is an explosion if not a pig cooking machine? I am severely disappointed. One out of 10, Minecraft is not a realistic game. I'm sorry, pig. I, but you know, as sorry as I am for that pig, I just don't understand. Raw pork chops? I think you'll find he died in a fiery inferno. That was not a pleasant way to go. But yet, I'm meant to just believe that he's meant to be raw after that? Doesn't make any sense. So I've smelted up my iron. I can finally make myself a flint and steel. And I guess the first thing I should do is take advantage of all the pigs that are lying around. It's so nice not to have to pick up this redstone torch every time. I mean, there's just something delightful about this, right? No, just me. In either case, I'm gonna need enough iron for a bucket and my mining strategy is not working so great so far. So I'm gonna need some TNT. I hope that goes without saying, but I'm gonna really need to get myself uh, some form of wood, right? Good thing I have just the way to get a large amount of wood very quickly. And uh, yeah, this is a fun reminder about the difference between Bedrock and Java. When you blow up blocks with TNT on Java, all of the blocks drop. When you do so on Bedrock, only a third of them do. So I got one piece of wood for that. Was that even worthwhile? I'm not sure. You know, I don't think I can afford to spend all this time just running around. I should get some sleep in while it's still peak of the night. You know, I've got a busy day of explosions tomorrow and I need to make sure I can survive that. You know, honestly, the flint and steel does enough for me in terms of dealing with enemy threats. It's a pretty handy little tool. Oh my god, look at this village. <laughs> There's a lava pit going right through the church, which I mean, I'm just saying, maybe if they'd accepted, you know, the Lord and Savior into their hearts, they wouldn't be eternally damned to burn, am I right? But yeah, let's uh, more seriously focus on going to bed. So I can see there's a bed inside this villager's house, but I just don't see how you would get in. I'm, I'm very confused by this building. It's all walls and windows, but good news, I have just the solution for this problem that is probably going to cause me some problems with the iron golem, if I'm not mistaken, because boom, look at that. I make my own doors into buildings. Good evening, friend. Have you accepted our Lord and Savior, the TNT? You haven't? Got some bad news for you then. So I'm going to place this TNT right there above the lava, and I'm going to see how long it takes to detonate. Well, I couldn't have foreseen that one coming. <laughs> but it also provides me with an opportunity to get the iron I also need. So there's what you know, the, 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 there's one way to do this. We could obviously light him on fire, and he doesn't notice when you light him on fire, so you can slowly kill him this way. But this is risky because what might happen is he might decide uh, that actually uh, I'm gonna die and I'm gonna land in the fire you just lit. It's gonna be a whole problem. So you know what we're doing? You know what we're doing. This, this, the title of this video has been leading to this fight right here. That's right, who would win in a fight? Four TNT or one very strong, chunky boy that can probably kill me in one hit? Let's find out. Okay, so let's see if we got the timing right on that TNT. We did not, although we did hurt a villager. Okay, this, that, that's gonna be better timing. Also, coincidental fun side effect of killing a villager. Okay, he is weakened, but he is not really caring about it. Did you know iron golems can't walk through water? I didn't know about that till just now. Also, did you know they stop aggroing on you the moment they see a, uh, a spider, apparently? Huh, useful. I guess this is as good as time as any to do this. And, uh, finish him off, though. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, we might have to finish him off with some good old-fashioned fire. Oh, no, 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 it's the thing I was talking about. Okay, look at this. For some reason, he's jumping around on fire, and then he dies. And what's that? Enough to craft a bucket and even a, a lovely iron shovel. I, I'll craft the iron shovel first, I think. Let's see how that goes. Two sticks? Yep, that's correct. Then an iron shovel. Oh, what's that? We get some TNT. I guess if you insist, Minecraft data pack that we added to the game ourselves. And then we also make... The bucket, of course. So usually when I make a nether portal from lava, it's a bit less confusing than this, but I'm sure we can work there anyway. So we want to place our block here. 
And then we place one there. And then, uh, yeah, this is this is all working out so far. And then we place our water down. I oh, see, usually we'd have to dig some of these blocks, but we can't. So we just place our water down. Maybe it starts pouring everywhere. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know for sure. And then from here, oh, I think I did a lot of this wrong. <laughs> yeah, this. You know what? Let's ignore the errors and let's focus on the success stories of this. Because now, we can make most of the nether portal without having to move this. And wow, look what a glorious success story this is. I think you'll find it's going very well. Yes, it is. And so now we need to light it on fire. Obviously, I have a flint and steel, but, you know, I'm a little attached to the TNT at this point. So let's see if that even works. I mean, if a ghast fireball can light a nether portal, why shouldn't TNT? Okay, well, that seems like it's a problem for future me to deal with. Yeah, I mean, like, it's gotta, it's gotta do something, right? No, it does not gotta do something. <laughs> also, why did the TNT, like, draw me in? Like, it hit me over to here? Let's not think about it too much, and let's just go to the nether. Wait, before we go to the nether, it's very important that we know we can't come back, so we're gonna get a whole ton of cobblestone, because they do have another church ready for the blowing up. Made with cobblestone already. Oh man, that's why we're not getting much cobblestone. It's so blast resistant that even a full explosion's giving me one cobblestone, which is only really worth like two TNT, I think. Yeah, on only two TNT from a stone shovel. So we need to we need to be very tactical with these explosions to maximize our TNT. Let's do it right on the inside, next to this this brewing stand, which I'm sure will vanish after this. Ah, there we go. We got free from that one, and then if we just Ta tactically detonate another TNT right here. We might even get more than three. Isn't it beautiful to just blow things up? Honestly, why why do people even play Minecraft without the TNT? I don't understand. I think they're missing something. Okay, so now get this. We can make four sets of cobblestone pickaxes, which means we're getting four sets of six TNT, which means we have 24 TNT. Let's see if we can go to the nether and get some of those resources we need to beat Minecraft with. So this is one of the weird and never spawns I've had in a while too. The lava pits have followed me even to here, which, you know, today's, today's video is all about lava and pain anyway, so I guess it makes sense. The cool thing about the never though, because we can hear there are gas somewhere near me, is it's really easy to get where you need to be just with a few explosions. Honestly, it might be easier with the explosions than it would be with an iron pickaxe anyway. Because look at this. Yeah, oh wow. <laughs> Ancient debris, huh? That is very useful. I know it doesn't work, but I really feel like I should put more effort into getting that ancient debris than just leaving it there to rot. But I guess we're gonna do precisely that. Isn't it beautiful? Also, now that I've got all of this dirt that is just honestly surplus to requirements, I'm gonna fill in some lava pits so they can't burn me as easily. Seems like a smart thing to do. Oh, we're in a basalt delta. Okay, this right here is the wall standing between me and freedom. And allow me to show you what happens when you get in the way of me and freedom. Yeah, oh, okay. This is what happened. Don't worry, it's fixed with just two, maybe three, simple dirt block. Oh, this isn't actually access to the outside world yet. But it can be, I bet. Maybe. Probably, I hope. Okay, no, it's not. I wonder why these blocks are just appearing here in the cave then. Like, it, it feels like they shouldn't be. Ah! There was a reason. And now we're free. Free to be me. Oh no, this is one of those weird caves that just exists surrounded by caves. Which is a it's a terrible way to explain it, but like, right? That's exactly what this is. Well, you know what they say? Every problem can be solved with explosives. Okay, I'm they. I'll admit it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, lava chilling around in the nether. I don't know what it's doing here, but I'm very suspicious of it all. You're not. You, you gotta calm down, okay? You gotta calm down. Oh no! Okay, that's fine. That's just helping me go places, I guess. You know, it's not often that you have mining-based nevers, and maybe that's something that needs to change. Maybe we need to appreciate that the never is all about mining. Okay, I'm now eating carrots while I explode the never repeatedly, and I, I feel like... I can still hear the goss. They're clearly around here somewhere. Oh, do you think it's above me? Like, if going this way isn't working, 
Maybe I've got to go this way. Oh, I bet that's totally what it is as well. I bet I've just been really silly this whole time. Okay, up we go. Up we go. Ah, there we go. Look at this. This right here is proof that the exact same thing is about to happen to me. Ah, whoa, that was beautiful. Look at that. I exploded my way into the real world and happened to stumble across another fortress. If I'd stuck to my old technique, I wouldn't have found that. And it's a reminder that sometimes you're going to be stubborn in life. You're going to insist your pathway is the best. But it's always worth hearing out other people's opinions. Even if you just want to ignore them entirely, at least give them the opportunity to say I was right, you know? Oh god, this this is not a good way to fight. Oh, yeah, we're going to die. It's over for us. Okay, it's not quite over for us. We can eat our carrots. As long as, like, an, a wither skeleton doesn't come around the corner, I should be fine. I wish I hadn't said that now. Because you know it's going to happen. Okay, there's no wither skeletons around the corner. We can check the chest. See what we got. Four iron. I'll take it. Definitely don't want to hold on to these bones. Or this never quartz. Or really this redstone repeater. Honestly, I want to hold on to the redstone repeater just for silly antics. Let's do it. Let's, let's do the silly antics now. Okay, so I've got this great idea, right? I've got a redstone repeater. I'm going to sell it to the max delay. And what I'm going to do, when you least expect it, is I'm going to peek around the corner. And I'm going to detonate the TNT, and it's going to mess that that blaze up. Okay, that's... I'm... I, not quite what I... Oh, wow, it actually did kill the blaze somehow. From that distance, wow. TNT is powerful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, this is... This is why you need TNT. Uh, you know, fisting blazes is not an easy thing to do. That might be too on the nose for the silly jokes. Oh, no, somehow it's going to be the skeleton that's the death of me. I didn't see that one coming, but I guess it's happening. Oh, yes. Yeah, saved again by the TNT. Our lord and savior. <laughs> one more time. I mean, we're creating problems for us in terms of exposure to ghasts, but let's not think about those. Okay. I don't have the I don't have that luxury anymore. I I now need to think about problems. Oh, no. Oh, how am I alive? How am I survived? How did that happen? And how did I survive that? Are two questions I don't have answers to, but my god, was that something. Yeah, I'm gonna make myself a little shelter over here, just so I can uh, ride out this storm while I eat carrots to survive. Okay, I would like access to the Nev Fortress again. Better make myself an entrance. It's just, it's just so satisfying. Okay, I've got a better idea. I'm gonna find the blaze spawner directly, and then I'm gonna somehow Spawn a bunch of blo- oh wait, I, if I blow up the ghasts, I'll blow up the spawner. That's- that's not what I want. Oh yeah, those ghasts are very mad at me right now. They are- they are not happy with the perceived injustice I have done against their people. So now I'm doing something that literally cannot end poorly. I'm gonna repel slowly down the wall of this cliff. Again, I see no way this could backfire and cause me problems. So I'm not even gonna think about possibilities where that happens because it's so unlikely as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, uh, pro tip when going down a wall, you can survive if you just make it three block drops or less. Oh, how did I get hit by that? How did that actually happen? Oh, okay, so, no, okay, okay. We got one TNT off. We got a second TNT off. And then there's also a, a, a wither skeleton over here. So that's third TNT time. Okay, please tell me one of you dropped a- Oh, okay, you didn't even die. Okay, please die. Please, please stop being alive. I would like it if you, if you seized and desisted your living activities. You know, it's funny because even though I have this block that can do like a hundred damage to a mob, I think I'm gonna be better off just punching them as long as there's only one at a time. There's more than one, God help me. Ah, you know that previous thing I had said? I would like to, I would like to back that up. Okay, I've got this, i got this. Blaze is gonna die. One of the weird exclusives to Bedrock. Also, you might not have heard of. Okay, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, they're climbing over the wall. They know they can climb over to get me and I don't like that they know that. Oh, okay. Well, they can go around. They are very aware of their options and that's good. But yeah, one of the handy features on Bedrock that's making this possible that you might not have known about, it's what I like to call Super Punch, but uh, punching does double damage on Bedrock because I honestly, I've heard so many explanations, 
But it, it, all I know is it is an intended feature. Developers have confirmed that bedrock punches are meant to do double as much damage. Are Java punches meant to do half as much? Um, that's a good question. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die. Okay, so if I, if I no. Well, the good news is I did sleep in a bed, as you can see, which means I'm now fine this morning and can go get my stuff with no issues. Okay, so I don't have any blocks, but the good news is, past me already thought of this, and has placed all of the blocks I need to get down there safely in front of me. So I just have to be real quick, real careful, maybe knock off a zombie pigment or two. And here we go. That's probably all of my stuff. I mean, only some of it probably fell over the edge, I bet. I bet it was a very small amount. And I've got, oh, how did you hit me instead of the zombie pigman? Hey, there we go, zombie pigman dealing with my issues for me. That is what I love to see. Oh, this is what I don't love to see. Please get away. Please stay away. Okay, I've made myself a cozy little base. I'm sure that the blaze will not find his way in here. I think I lost all of my TNT to the lava. So I've lost my one ability I have this run. And I just need to get five blaze rods and get out there. But I have one carrot. I have zero carrots. <laughs> and zero other source of food. But you know, challenge accepted, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Some stuff landed over there. Okay, there's there's hope for me yet. If this skeleton doesn't kill me. Okay, so the great news is I have some gravel, which means I can do this. If you ever want to place blocks down to a pathway and you don't have scaffolding, which is, of course, the superior item for that sort of thing, then there comes the gravel in to save the day. And all I have to do is not die to that blaze. And everything's going to be okay. Okay, I've got 12 hay bales now. So if I can just... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, there goes my life again. <laughs> But this time, all I need is one piece of wood, and I can turn those hay bales into food and turn my life into a success. Okay, so this time it's gonna be fine because I can take the slow way down, and I've got hay bales, which means I can do this. Yes. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Uh, hay bale reducing my full damage by 90% and allowing me to get all of my stuff back. Then we do a real quick craft. We make a crafting table just like this. And boom, we are ready to go now. Do you think 45 bread is gonna be enough to last me for this challenge? I think we'll need to get more when we get back to the overworld. But for now, let's just uh, make ourselves a little staircase up. This is a uh, a piece of art I like to call Gravel Wrapped by Neverack. It's a complex build that I'm not making out of necessity. In fact, it's a complex build that I appreciate so much because it's made out of necessity. Sometimes in Minecraft, you just, okay. See, this is why you need staircases, when you make mistakes. It's fun to be able to undo them. But sometimes in Minecraft, we forget that the whole game is all about necessity. And so having a staircase that reflects that is uh, such an important thing. Okay, challenge accepted with a skeleton on a one by one pathway. Yep, what could go wrong with this idea? Hey, perfect. <laughs> yeah, if I was any less lucky, that probably would have killed me. But we, we digress. Let's, let's, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so my main plan at this point seems to be luring blazes out of their place <laughs> and then trying to get them in one-on-one -on -one situations. It's going well enough so far, thank you for asking. Okay. Yep, everything is going just fine. Okay, okay, no, this is getting out of hand real fast again. They're trapping me in a corner. They're trapping me in a corner. I am not approving of the corn trapping methods being used. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I can do this forever. I mean, yeah, this is, this is great. This is, oh, stop attacking me. Oh my gosh. So we actually got a stone sword drop from a wither skeleton. And, you know, in the spirit of the challenge, as handy as it would be right now, I would like to convert it to TNT. That doesn't exist. So instead, we throw it away. Oh, Wither Skeleton just fell down from nowhere. Yep, I am not a fan of any of what's happening right now. Oh no, okay. Two blaze rods though. We are working our way up in the world. Okay, everything's fine, everything's good. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm strong, and I'm... Wait, how did I just die? Slain by a Wither Skeleton? I think he clipped through a wall. Let, let me show you where I died. And just like that, I can also avoid the full damage because I've already placed the hay bales there. Wow, I sure do love this art piece staircase that is coincidentally helping me to get it back up to where I was before. Oh no, oh no, okay. It's not as useful as I thought. Oh, please get out of my way. Please go away. 
So needless to say, beating Minecraft without having swords is apparently a bit of a challenge. I don't know how anyone was meant to conclude this. Okay, so we just gotta keep on avoiding all the fireballs and then go back in, grab our stuff, boom. See, look at that. There is no way a wither skeleton could have attacked me in here unless he clipped through a wall, which uh, is definitely what happened there. It's definitely what happened, which is fine. You know, what? I just feel like it's cheating. I feel like blocks should protect you, is all I'm saying. Oh, no, 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 How did my stuff all end up out there? I'm so confused by all of what's happening right now. Oh, the good news is I have a bow. Oh, no, the bad news is there goes all the stuff. Well, I mean, uh, um, uh, uh. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. I see where the wither skeletons came from now. And they see me too. Where did all the blazes go? And where did all these wither skeletons come from? I'm just so confused by all of them. Okay, I'm hoping maybe some of my stuff was no no all of it's up there. That sucked. So uh that resets all of my progress. Oh so far. And that resets even more of it. Okay, so I'm gonna level with you after losing all of my stuff in lava. I'm very close to just being like, well, it sucks, start over, brand new world, or just give up on the challenge entirely. I'm sure I can, you know, do some do some silly stuff outside of this. But you know what? I'm not a quitter, and I'm going to show you how you can get back from nothing, even when you can't have tools, because I intend to make this work. As long as I can find some hay bales, which you better believe are right behind me. So this is going to take a while, and we'll do a fun little montage to show you how long it takes me to get back where I was before. Okay, I wasn't quite expecting that death, and I also wasn't expecting to be chased by a magma cube when I respawned. But uh, today is a day of many new things, I guess. Okay, and now I have TNT. I've got my flint and steel. I've got some spare iron that I don't really need, but my prized possession are these blaze rods. I just need ender pearls and I can get to the end. How I survive the end is a whole separate question, but uh, <laughs> for now, we need to get some endermen. But most crucially, I ran out of food just now. That is my last bread. I have some bones, which I can't really eat. I have some soul sand and I could, I guess, make some blaze powder. But I don't think the blaze powder is as tasty as some, uh, you know, bacon straight from the sauce, which we're gonna be making, well, I mean, apparently, we're getting some cooked ocelot instead. But if we get some bacon straight from the sauce, that'd be pretty good. Do you think I can make this jump right here? Do you think I should find out by doing it? I think I should. <laughs> okay, couldn't make the jump, good to know. So yeah, obviously after the pork chops run out, because they always do, we're gonna need a secondary source of food. And it's a good thing we have this apparently abandoned village nearby 
because we can use that to find some hay bales. Or at least you usually can. There we go. More bread for Toy Cat. It'd be nice if we had a hoe to help me get these hay bales, but you know, we're just gonna have to keep on doing it with our fist, like normal. You know, I'm just saying, it seems a bit weird that this isn't lighting the pig on fire, but if you wanna go that way, that's fine. I'm gonna put my blaze powder away in a chest because I am going to the nether to do incredibly dangerous things. See, that is learning as a person. Okay, I've traveled so far and all I can find is Soul Sand Valley, and when I'm lucky, I get this little base salt delta. So my new plan is tunneling the good old fashioned way with the TNT. And I think it actually makes sense on like a time level to like dig two blocks in my hand and then deliberately blow up the TNT like that so we can travel further with each explosion. Even if it's not, it's fun, so. <laughs> I used so much TNT and I made this beautiful tunnel, which by the way, this might be a good like survival technique. If you wanna make a kind of cool cavernous tunnel in the nether, use some TNT, or I guess beds are easier to get. But uh, yeah, this is clearly not working. I've just been led to a hole in the, the ground above some lava. Probably not smart to spend too much time here. So instead, I'm gonna try something else. So yeah, this is the much safer thing to be doing in this moment. Just bridge across lava. Don't even look up. Don't even look up and see the ghast. They're just gonna scare me. Just keep going and hope for the best. I don't even know where I'm going, honestly. I can't see. I just wanna hit land as soon as I can. <laughs> I'm so scared. Somehow that didn't go terribly, actually. Wow, look how beautiful it is, too. Okay, yep, everything's going fine. I found a crimson forest. That means we've got three of the never biomes down. I I just want to find a warp forest. Isn't that so much to ask for? Oh, God. Oh, no. Not what I want at all. Not what I want at all. I've never seen a Soul Sand Valley be this big, by the way. Like, it must be a second one, maybe, and that's why it's so ludicrous, but, like, Jesus. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. Okay, you know, I found my stuff, and all it cost me was all of my hunger and most of my health. <laughs> And maybe the rest of it now the skeleton sees me. No, no, I can do this. I can survive. Okay, I'm going straight for the food. Nothing else matters. I just need to get some some health in me. Thank God I traveled for hundreds of blocks in every direction, but we finally found a warp forest. Obviously, the much bigger question, <laughs> kind of like the end, is like, well, getting there is is a little bit of a challenge, but like, how do we how do we kill Enderman with only TNT? And I think actually this might be easy maybe we'll, we'll see we'll see okay so yet yeah, un unlike every other projectile endermen don't know about tnt and so oh no they do know about it they're they're very familiar with me firing it at them okay this this is going terribly for me okay we're gonna gonna make myself a little shelter over here and we're gonna look look how safe i am in my little shelter okay we're fine now we're fine so tnt not smart today we learned oh he didn't drop an ender pearl so we only need to punch Enderman 20 times because it's bedrock, but 20 times is still a lot for someone with no armor that can't craft armor, that has no real defense mechanisms. It's going on for so long that the Enderman get bored of me halfway through the fight and I need to like re-attract their attention, you know? That's always a good sign. Oh, first enderpearl, gotten. We only need to do that another 10 to 12 times. Oh God, this is gonna be terrible. In this for the long haul, I guess. Oh, second ender pearl. Maybe it's not gonna be so bad. Oh God. I have one pork chop left and I'm very far from home. Far enough that the pork chop won't get me there. So now I need to start working out food strategies. Also trying not to die from the enderman, I might have angered. Things are going well. Oh, 
Oh, thank God I finally found some red mushrooms. I can eat again. It's going to be great. Okay, we're finally done. We've got 12 ender pearls. If we need more than this, then I don't deserve to beat Minecraft because <laughs> that was a long 35 minutes. That was a very long 35 minutes. Isn't it insane when you think about modern YouTube editing for certain gaming videos, mostly Minecraft, right? But like, you know, 35 minutes worth of <laughs> pounding on Enderman just turns into, you know, the last 20 seconds. It's, it's insane. And uh, I, I think that's one of the the cool things about uh, being able to witness this stuff, and I hope that you enjoy uh, the semi-dedication. And let's be honest, you probably don't, and that's what makes it even crazier that it's a thing, but that's half why it's so charming, right? Or maybe not. Maybe instead you want to just see me get straight back to trying to survive the never, <laughs> and trying to find that stronghold, which is of course the next major goal I have to focus on. So I left the stronghold, I figured, you know what, if I just get myself some food, some stuff, I'll be ready for maybe having to find another one. And then when I came back, I realized that I'd actually blown up the entrance to the end portal a long time ago, and clearly multiple times too. It's just I hadn't noticed it, I kept looking forwards and past and stuff. And you know, I feel very silly now, but what matters is we have the end portal, and we have access to beating Minecraft. And my big plan for a redemption moment for all of the deaths we've suffered in this is I want to defeat the Ender Dragon without a single death. Can we do it? I don't know, let's find out. Okay, here we come, it's redemption time. Looking forward to taking down the Ender Dragon. So an Mbox spawn sucks because even if we place TNT in one of these corners and stand in the other, we're still gonna take a fair amount of damage. So we need to minimize the amount of TNT used and the easiest way to do that is check your coordinates. So if you see on the left right there, um, the, uh, the, the the coordinates for the end portal is always at zero, zero. So I can tell this is the way towards the dragon. If I had a pickaxe, I'd mine this way. But because we're using TNT, we're gonna mine this way instead to use the fewest blocks. We'll place one in the corner over there and then we'll stand in this corner and make sure there's dirt blocks between me and it because dirt blocks will counteract some of that damage. And then we just keep going until we find the edge of the world, the edge of the island, whatever, whatever you need to call it. And as you can see, boom, two TNT blocks in. That really is quite special. Here we are, ready to go. I'm excited. So um, yeah, if you want to defeat the end dragon your first time, the best tip is like bring some armor, you know, some enchanted armor if you want to go crazy, bring a bow, fight conservatively, make sure you always have close to max health and you'll be fine. But when you don't have armor, when you don't even really have a weapon, uh, you have to go over a little bit of a different tack. And so here is my insane, might not work, but if it does work, it's gonna look real cool idea because my intention is just to go Blitzkrieg mode. I'm gonna, as fast as I humanly can, stack myself up in a corner. So when she does come for me, uh, I'm gonna get knocked into the corner, hopefully. If not, I've got more, many other plans. And just to go real fast around all these islands. Do, oh man, whole stack gone. And uh, look at the look at the size of this tower. And so yeah, that means that I'm gonna place a few of my blocks just ready right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our TNT now and then start running already to the next island. Just, oh, here we go. Look at this craziness. And then we can drop TNT from up here. We're looking for the dragon where she is because now she comes after me, but she can't hit me in the correct direction at least. <laughs> okay, and now we have to go to the next tower. She's already flying away from me, which is great. So here we go, look at this. Going real fast, bridging over and pulling the exact same craziness. And acid works really poorly from um, below, like her attacks all kind of work poorly from below, which is why it's so... Okay, not that... <laughs> you know what? I wasn't expecting her to fly up. That is a... That is an, that is an unknown variable that I should definitely be adjusting for. But yeah, just being this high up in the end honestly will help you. If you if you can bring an Elytra to the end fight, I always recommend it. Obviously, it's a, 
It's a big ask. <laughs> but just being able to stack up above it as fast as we humanly can and going for a literal air bombing campaign is genuinely so handy. Damn, that was good. I tried. I did. I did. I did kind of well. Can we can we acknowledge I did kind of well? Okay, we can. Thank you. Is it just me or does the end look like there's night vision applied to it right now? Like the, the colors are slightly different. You know, I'm not bothered. What I am bothered with is taking down these last towers. That was so cool. That that was about to be the coolest thing, and we had to we had to have it ruined again. I'll admit, I think I play Minecraft very recklessly, and TNT is not a tool that you can use recklessly. <laughs> I think that's the lesson we're really learning here. Is that like, you know, maybe maybe just calm your jets a little bit with the explosives, and you'll be fine. Maybe if we just learn that lesson, we'd be better off. Where is my stake? Oh no, I really want my stake. I bet it's like on the tower somewhere. So yeah, here's my next really wacky idea that definitely should not be done by anyone. But I just want to do it for the sake of it. I'm going to use TNT as my block of choice as I take this down. And I'm going to run away and see what that does. Uh, oh no, I see that T. Oh! <laughs> okay, again. Reckless is fun. But it does lead to bad things. We need to acknowledge that right now. The good news is that was only one piece of TNT, so no TNT blew up all of my stuff. That could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> we need to be very clear that I am grateful for that situation, as silly as that was. And also, I need to get my uh, my stake back. I had a ton of them. I that I spent a lot of time getting that stake. I'm not gonna just let it go. I also don't know if it's smart to bring. You know, what? let's let's go. Let's just. Oh, here it is. Never mind. Here's my stake. It's not up there. And so, yeah, because I did all of the high towers at once, if I get these three low towers over here, I can just ignore that one and the other one. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fine. Everything's going to be great. There are no problems to report over here, Captain. I bet you could even use that tower technique to, like, take down towers that you were nowhere near. I bet there's some smarts in doing that as well. Okay. Build a ton of fence stone. Detonate. Oh, whoa. How did... Did you see that? The TNT detonated itself. Was it the end acid? I want to know how that TNT detonated. Does anyone... I want to know so badly how that TNT detonated. I genuinely didn't know that was like a possibility. That could even happen. Oh, look at me. About to die to an Enderman. This is high class moments right here. Pro tip with Enderman is they handle elevation changes poorly. So all you have to do is... Uh... Oh, no. All you have to do is get away from them. Elevate. Pray the dragon. Oh, she's come to the center. That gives me time to organize. That gives me time to get these out. Oh, they're not out yet. Oh, never mind. Oh, so close. Okay. You know what I really said? I didn't say I wasn't going to die once. I said I was only going to die twice. Now is the now is the dramatic. Can I... Why do I say things? Why do I ever say anything? You know, honestly, this is my new pro tip for the end. You know, bad things don't really happen if you die. If you have an end portal near enough anyway, what does it matter if you die three times? You know, maybe we'll die another five times before this is over. Who am I to say <laughs> what the strategy is? Like, I think dying in Minecraft is terrifying and, like, reorganizing your inventory sucks. But, like, there really aren't many penalties as far as why you would need to worry about it beyond everything else. And so, yeah, I always recommend not stacking up against... I always recommend stacking up against the towers. By the way, oh, I'm totally dead, aren't I? This is this is long over. At least I got another tower down. That's that's the one positive from all of this. Okay, perfect. Jump, and we're up. I think we're up. Should we just, like, make more TNT? See if it detonates. That's all I'm curious about at this point. Okay, so I'm running away from TNT. Oh, speed bridge mode. Okay, I'm fine. I'm good. I've got one more tower left. Uh, she, she's... I don't have many blocks to get there. But if I can, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be so fine. Look at this. I'm good. I've got my, my hay bales right here. So I just have to do this stealthily right now. Jump down. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at this. Look at that craziness. <laughs> oh, there's actually one more tower. That would have been cool otherwise. And here's another pro tip. You know what? Again, like, everyone's so scared of the dragon for so many reasons. But, like, if I can come in here with no armor and just say, you know what, let's not deal with that last tower. I don't want to, so I'm not going to. And let me show you how that's not even necessary to kill the dragon. You know, actually, I want to use TNT to kill the dragon, and here's me with my very normal, for the end, stack of TNT, showing how much damage it does to the dragon. Next to nothing, actually. Yeah, this is honestly, like, it's, like, it's strong, I guess. 
But it's not the strongest thing you've ever seen. Okay, look at this, look at this, by the way. She's going to fly out towards the TNT, and it's going to do some extra damage. It didn't actually do any extra damage. Okay, so another pro tip is when you've got Enderman chasing you, all you have to do to avoid the ire is throw to the other side of the end. I think that actually hit an Enderman. <laughs> that is the opposite of what I wanted to do. Okay, the dragon's back in the center. I need to attack a cop. Oh, no! Why did you leave the center? Okay, and th th there we go. Okay, so pro tip, always attack the dragon a few times so she doesn't fly away. Um, if you don't attack her at least once, then bad things happen. And then we're going to pick up our stuff after that and then get right back to the attack. But guess what? Now we've got our time to reorganize that inventory, get our, our stake out. And so now we're actually going to start attacking the dragon in two ways at once. We're going to put a TNT there and a TNT over there. And again, this could go very badly, I'll admit. But look at look at all of that damage out. Man, that is beautiful. This this whole run was worth it for this moment where I get to attack the dragon using TNT and just w witness the glory all happen at the same time. Oh no, okay, that's not glory. See, this is the reason that Endstone has so much blast resistance because they knew TNTing the dragon would be a viable strategy. Oh God, please stay away from me. You'd figure the fire would do that to them, but it doesn't. Okay, here's a question. What's gonna die first? Me or the Ender Dragon? There's an Enderman chasing me, and it's very terrifying. But also, the dragon is uh, next to a lot of TNT right now. Uh, a whole bunch of stacks there. Okay, let's, oh no. Okay, TNT, 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 get out of there. That should have done it, right? No, no way it doesn't. Oh Christ, I don't know what happened to any of that right there. But I got an Ender Pearl out of it, so. Okay, I can survive. I can survive. Look at this surviving I'm doing. Look how well I'm surviving right now. It's going so well, you don't even know how well it's going. Pro tip, keeping away from Enderman. Stack up. They can't even get to you. They are mortals in this game plan. Please don't fly away, dragon. No. Can I show you something cool? I got trapped in this hole and I don't have any tools, but the way out of the hole is to sleep in the bed. Boom, that is parkour magic right there. Only works 50% of the day though. Okay, here we go, finishing off the dragon. This time, probably even for real, I bet. Okay, also let's see if uh, End Acid does detonate TNT. I really wanna know, why, why is it that that TNT detonated? I didn't do anything. And if I didn't do anything, who did? Oh no, 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 okay. Look at it, it's fine, it's fine. Look how fine everything is. I'm gonna do a free stack of TNT just to see if things go differently with that. Oh yeah, look at that magic. Oh, so TNT at the same time doesn't work. It has to be different times. This is just getting silly at this point. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm ready to kill me some dragon. And I hope the dragon's ready, because she's the one who's about to die. So yeah, there is a timing thing with TNT we have to be watching out for, it seems. But look at this, I don't need to care. The dragon's dead, she exploded, and she gone. And that means that I am now the new winner of Minecraft. This is the first time I've beat Minecraft having died this many times. The first time I've beat Minecraft with no XP. And probably the first time I beat Minecraft using just explosives. I'm gonna level with you. For real, I had this number of deaths this run. That is a death almost every 15 minute of the re-recording. I, and you know, like every couple minutes in this video, how did that happen? I don't know. But I think I, this was meant to be a cool lesson about how you don't need tools. This is actually a lesson about how you can overcome any adversity. Because here's the deal. Um, you know, I, I, I know being Minecraft is hard. How, how are you going to do it? You're not going to do it. But the truth is, you can die as much as you like. Dying is not as bad as it used to be. Let me tell you. <laughs> and uh, hopefully this was a lesson about precisely that. I hope you all enjoyed this video where I proved you can in fact beat Minecraft without tools and you can even beat Minecraft if the tools are replaced with TNT. Was this as useful as all of my other Minecraft without X series? Probably not, but you can watch those in the playlist linked down below if you want to see Minecraft beaten without crafting or Minecraft beaten without jumping or any of those other silly challenges because hey, uh, life is fun and make sure you enjoy it while it lasts at least in the real world. In Minecraft, you can die as much as you like, as I've already clarified. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Good. Bye. Wait, actually, if we're gonna say goodbye, we've gotta stay in style, right? We've gotta, we've gotta really make this a goodbye to be proud of. So, thank
thank you all very so much for watching because I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.